Well, this is your devotional for Wednesday, September 9th, and we are looking at Psalm 147. Now, again, we haven't covered every single psalm, but we've been looking at all the psalms that speak to kind of this journey we're walking through in our world, and our country, and our community, and our lives. And there's just so much to learn from the book of Psalms. I hope that you've been moved to new ways of praying, of worshiping, and of listening for the voice of God to speak to you. And so listen to these words from Psalm 147. I'll begin by reading the first nine verses and then the last couple of verses of the psalm. So Psalm 147, beginning in verse one. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up their wounds. He determines the number of stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain. He makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. And then we finish up the psalm with these words, beginning in verse 19. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. In other words, he's spoken through his word to his people. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Psalm 147 ends like it begins, lifting up praise to God. Let me just make three observations as you're walking into this week, as you're, as you're living and following Jesus in this unique and challenging time. Number one, the call from beginning to end of Psalm 147, of all of scripture and all of life if you follow Jesus, the call is to give praise to God. You cannot praise God too often. You cannot praise him too passionately. And so I want to encourage you, find opportunities just to pause and say, God, I praise you for who you are, for what you've done, for how you've moved. Continually praise him. The second theme I see in this psalm is kind of the, the why of our praise. And it really comes down to the fact that our God is sovereign. He's the one who made the heavens and the earth. He made all the stars and knows each one by name. There's just this sense of God's intimate engagement with all that's going on around us. That he's also present. He didn't just make the stars. He feeds individual cows. I mean, <laughs> think about it. It says he provides food for the cattle. The God who made the entire universe and knows every star also knows every cow, every raven, every kitten and puppy dog, every, and, and certainly he knows you. He is sovereign. Overall, he is present and engaged with all. And so just to understand that our God is near. As you walk through this week, remember that the God who makes sure that the cattle of the field have enough food to eat is going to watch over you. Put your trust in him. Put your confidence in him. And then at the end of the psalm, it comes to God's word. It says he's revealed his word, his laws, and his decrees. God has spoken. He has spoken by his word. And, and if, I can, if I can give you one big challenge in these coming weeks and months, because it seems like this challenging season isn't going to be over in the next couple of days. We've got, we've got a road ahead. Hold to the word of God. Read the scriptures. Let God speak to your heart, encourage you, challenge you, do whatever he wants. But know that the truth of his word will be your strength. So let's pray together and ask God to help us recognize that he deserves our praise, that he's sovereign, he's present, and his word is our guide. Lord Jesus, our prayer is that we will live every single day with a pro profound awareness of your presence, of your love, of your goodness and your grace, that we will follow you with passionate hearts, with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, that we will celebrate your goodness, recognize your presence, and hold to your word. God, send us into the rest of this week and into the weekend as we worship together with a profound awareness that, God, you are with us, you are, you are ruling and reigning over all, and we yield our lives to you, and you do great and mighty things in us and through us. We give you praise for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this weekend, I look forward to joining you for worship, and you can join us on campus. If you do, be sure you register. You can join us online. 
And if you have any questions about how to connect in either of those environments, just call the church. We're here. We'd love to talk with you. So God bless you. Have a great day. And we'll see you next Wednesday for another devotional. And we'll see you this Sunday for worship.